Terve, pa terve. That is welcome uh, in a weird Finnish way. Um, this time it's time to talk about a Finnish black metal band, Sielun Viholinen, but in a terms of a couple of reissues. Why so is because Sielun Viholinen is about to release its fourth full-length album this week. Now, while doing this reissue double review, uh, I don't even have the new album yet here in physical format. It might have... Uh, that it might have uh, been shipped to me already, it might get here already this week, or then it is going to happen after Easter, don't really know, but whatever. Now it's time to talk about these two uh, reissues, both vinyl format, which I got from the band itself. Thank you very much, by the way, for sending. And, um, well, this features two darker than black reissues. So what we have here is Veren Anet, uh, an LP, technically it's 12 inch vinyl, but you know, there's three tracks only, which are re recorded during 2017 and 2016. And then there is this seven inch released Tuhon Tuoja, which was originally demo as a tape and later on, uh, you know, you know uh, Bandcamp digital version. And then uh, this one was released in 2020 as a 7 inch. So, because this is an older one, let's start with this one. Uh, there is a different cover for the older version. And there's some uh, edgy designs here. Everybody won't like these. They will be, you know, making people upset. But then again, I'm sure your parents already warned you about black metal not being safe for anybody. Lyrics here are in Finnish, so in case you don't understand, well, these are kind of a critical lyrics, not exactly pointing, you know, with very uh, clearly who they're against and all, all that stuff, but you can't really find all those uh, pointers with some people say with the kind of a strong political agenda. Anyway, here is that seven inch vinyl. It's pretty neat, pretty old school and all that stuff. Let's put that aside for a while. And already my fingerprints have coated nastily. I guess I need to just clean it up before putting it into my shelf. And here is the Berenanet Voices of Blood. Oh yeah, Tuhondue means bringer of uh, destruction. Anyway, uh, this features three tracks once again. Verenäänet, hauden pimeydessä, kaamos. Kaamos is something like uh, hard to translate because it usually means this kind of a uh, darker era towards the end of the year, you know? Uh, the kind of a uh, depressing darkness that precedes winter time and all that stuff. Hauden pimeydessä, into dark of the grave. And Verenäänet voice is applaud once again. So these tracks here were done quite... Uh, early on, but this still got uh, slayed out as a 2020. I'm not actually sure if this was, to be honest, 2021 release in, in vinyl format, but the earlier version, well, they got out earlier on. This one features a um, piece of paper, a, an inlay, obviously, which has a couple of uh, photos here with lyrics. So once again, in Finnish, in case you want to read them, and there's nothing else inside, obviously, you want to see that I'm not joking or making the mistake. And then inside we have this actual um, record, which is golden. Much like the tape version earlier on. I don't know why this band has decided to go with gold. Uh, is it the representation of being gold metal standard of Finnish black metal? But I think that is what... Still we only need nowadays doing. Let's take a look at the band's metal archive side so you get a little bit of basic information. The band has been constantly uh, recognized as anti-Christian as well as anti-Islam uh, based black metal, also featuring Satanism, and now been here for 10 years. And during those 10 years there you have a couple of demos, a couple of splits, well, technically one sp split, sorry, and some single, an EP and all that stuff, even live album and boxed set. But also, more importantly, I would might add, 
four full length albums. Now I haven't heard even half of these, so I'm not gonna compare these to the early works, which I just you know missed back in the days. But since school on Kulava, uh, I've been more about you know focusing on the band because I really like what the band is doing. Now Tuhantue is as early as 2016, so only five years in, only one album in when that came out and it already features this kind of a melodic black metal that the band is nowadays mostly known for. And it's pretty good, but you can hear certain kind of a baratrum vibe here, which is not so um, surprising given that even though this member list is not mentioned, only the one member who is in the band just happens to be, you know, also in baratrum. I mean, there are other members, but I don't know how much songwriting they have, they are taking part of. So that's why I'm referring only one member, but I wouldn't be calling this one a solo project because when you see this band alive, well, obviously it's not just one guy. So whatever the official lineup is, the band isn't even, you know, mentioning it here. So it might be more than just one guy. Don't take my word for that. Anyway, the point here is that Tuhondoya is, you know, kind of showing the potential what the band will later on be, but it's only later on when they really, you know, start being this very, very catchy, very cool melodic black metal and that is what was Kuolan Kylvea was all about it was my favorite album of 2019 because it's very catchy it's very uh very good I mean so many ways I mean not so often I'm kind of a bored uh you know when the bands are going like too melodic I guess I could just say I'm often bored with the with the bands going very melodic with black metal because usually I'm in the roarer side but there's something really um, catchy what, you know, Selma Viholinen is doing. It's basically pushing the re really the same buttons that, say, dissection, even though the style is very different. Or bands like Mörder Gröning and all the like. You know, some bands just are able to do all that melodic stuff and being very catchy. And even kind of a Finnish rock uh, feeling is very much present here and here and there with some of the riffs. And Venenan, it is basically doing very much the same as Kuol and Kulubat. You know, it is um, almost like one of the tracks, and I'm not talking about the one that was done in the same session, could be from the Kuol and Kulubat album, because there is very much like the similar feeling, you know, where it goes. So it, it's at the same time, it's kind of a fierce, with this really great, raspy, screamy kind of vocals, but at the same time, it's more approachable with it, very melodic stuff. It's almost like something that you could hear on a rock radio, but just, you know, different vocals, obviously. So it's more like flirting with the kind of a classic rock and roll writing and that more melodic approach to black metal and then combining it in a magical way. Now, obviously, this is not for everybody. That's kind of a given with the topics mentioned here, but also because this uber melodic output. I, for one, am still vouching this band, you know, being the one of the better black metal bands coming from Finland these days, musically anyway, because they're just something really, really catchy. You know, when I was like spinning these EPs today, earlier on, I felt like, okay, another round, another round, another round, without getting bored, which is a good sign for me. I mean, you could easily get bored with some 18 minutes and three tracks, you know, if it was like, not too shabby songwriting, but for me it seemed like I want to still go another another round because it's so goddamn good. Good, it's goddamn easy to enjoy it, and those melodies are catchy as hell. So all in all, I I really think you people should check out these two EPs from uh, Silvio Villanen. If I had to choose the winner here, it would definitely be Veranan it because in my opinion it's more polished, more uh, better songwriting than the previous ones. And I would say this is very much in, in the same level as Kuol and Kulbeck. But what about the new album? Well, you will have to find, you have to wait for my actual review of it, or then just listen to it by yourselves. Now, I don't know how much of this is available on, um, uh, you know, on the web, but at least on the band's Bandcamp site, you will get to listen to quite a few of these releases. So clickety-click that way, and what can I say? I hope you like it. Really, really good melodic black metal from Finland, and that's all you need to know. Hope you enjoy it.